Hello, my name is Brandon. I work at Gridiron Football and I've had the pleasure of working with Sportfee at a couple of our events these past few weekends. And I just wanted to share some things that I learned from the app and just general knowledge of stuff that I uh, worked on when I was on those fields. So first things first is we're gonna set up the tripods and we're gonna go over to where to set them up that we figured out works best to capture um, the best you know, highlights of the game. So first set up tripod. And it could be four to five feet up in the air. Um, make sure to have a sandbag, um, just good for windy weather. Um, and then turn on iPhone. And the thing is with the iPhones, they will be attached to batteries that last eight hours. So make sure that the phone is actually constantly charging while that's happening. So pretty much all you have to do is make sure the tripod doesn't fall over and the camera and that the iPhone's plugged in so it's constantly charging or charged up the full time. So the iPhones will be charged to a battery pack. Second thing is uh, click on the Sportfia once the iPhone is on. And on the Sportfia, you'll have home, my the places, my events, uh, my circle and favorites. So we're just gonna focus on the places, clicking on places. That's where all the events are gonna be. That's where you're gonna see all the different fields. So it could be 1A field, 1A, 1B field, 2A, yeah, and so on and so forth. Secondly, the login. So just since it's easier just to consolidate all the logins to some to having access to actually see the places tab on on the Sportfia, you can use my login, which is Brandon B R A N D O N Lucas L U C A S Work W O R K nineteen ninety three at gmail dot com as the email to log in. And um, the password we're using is capital G and then gr pretty much gridiron 2021. And then you should see the places app on there. You won't have any issues about having access to certain fields and stuff. So pretty much after that is you're gonna go into the places tab. You're gonna go to the places tab and you're gonna select the field that uh, you're setting up the camera at. So pretty much I would just, I would 100% make sure, and we had it last week, to label which parts of the field, because with, obviously with Flex and 7 on 7, they're divided into two halves, you know, and then you have, um, and then you have Flag where it's, you know, they're, it's just they're using the full, they're, just make sure that you're getting the proper, setting up the camera at the proper field location. So the kid, the parents aren't confused and clicking on them. You know, they're just wondering where their game's at pretty much. So pretty much you could select, you're gonna select the field and when you click on the field, so it could be 1A field, right? When you go into the app, you're gonna see that a little camera option on the left side near the top. And when that happens and if it's grayed out, just go back into, press back, go back into the places refresh the page and then go back and click on and then the camera will be lit up to a white to white and you'll you'll see it on there after you that and then you click on it you click on the when it once it's lit up which you actually could click on it it's not grayed out you could it'll go to it'll prompt you to select camera mode and it'll see it pop up so it's it's nothing more you have to do. make sure microphone's off so we're not catching wind and parents and make sure it's on a high bandwidth so we can get the best picture quality as possible. Um, yep, and so that pretty much, and then just press start and it'll take you right into the live stream, live stream. So pretty much after that, make sure it's at one time zoom. It pretty sure it starts up at 0.5 time zoom. So make sure it's at that one time zoom, not two times, not 0.5. And then, you know, Next is just make sure that the iPod's placed at the proper location and make sure at the end of the night that we recharge phones and batteries. Okay, so pretty much just to reiterate, we're, we're going to be setting them up at the third yard line, 10 feet back on diagonal parts of the field, and it's going to be facing out straight because the reason why we're doing that, because most quarterbacks, most people are right-handed, so that's where most of the plays are going to be going, so we want to make sure we can capture all the plays that we can so we can get those parents those highlights. So that's what we're going to aim for. That's why we're putting it right here, facing like this, and then right here, 
your face like that. Kind of similar with the flex on seven on seven field, since you're only dealing with like half the field, you're gonna send one on the goal line on this side of the field, 10 feet back, still facing straight like this. And then we're gonna send, uh, set up another camera on the 15 yard line, 10 feet back, facing like this. So, I don't know if you can see right here, that's gonna have them set up. And this is similar too, because most, most um, quarterbacks are right-handed, so we wanna make sure we capture most of them pretty much. So, yeah, and I know that was kind of a quick run through. The app's great, it's very easy to use. It's really easy to figure out. If you have any questions, uh, my name is Brandon Lucas. Uh, sorry about that awkward transition. We're, my name is Brandon Lucas, and my phone number is 817-880-1498. And you can call me whenever, be it besides at 2 a.m. Obviously, you're not gonna call at 2 a.m. But yeah, you just call me whenever you have any questions. I'm, pretty much always text my phone and also if you just want to contact me email this is my normal email address so if you have any more questions hopefully this was uh helped out um obviously and i'm gonna and I'm, if you just need have any more questions just please call me or email me and i can answer thank you guys and have a great day